on this merry episode of the NES Pursuit. He's bitter about it. He, he got Star Wars out of the Empire. Gabo, Ricky, and Riff tread down to another flea market with holiday hope. I smell X, boss. It's safe to say that Gabo may in fact be the real Santa Claus. I'm going there. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this. Yeah, you got a couple ne more years needs to, to Needs to be white. It happens fast as the boys get deals back to back to back to back. The scores are happening. He's brown, but he got good guys. Riff's obsession with Dick Tracy only thickens at today's swap. Dick meet. Tracy! Ricky finds a rage-inducing toy that's collectible and epic. I walk up and I look and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? Fill your stockings and prepare for tons of fines, Xbox boys, churro munching, sock grazing, and the warm fuzzies. This is the NES Pursuit. You have to keep going to the swap meet. If you feel like you've given up because you aren't finding things, keep looking. You're gonna go through highs and lows and ups and downs, but there's so much stuff out there to be had. Oh, yeah, that sounded bad. Never mind. How you doing, bro? Good, you? Long time. Like your cup. Today, Ricky, Gabo, and I are heading to a swap meet once again. We went a few weeks ago. We got a taste of the good old days of the swap meet, and now it's hitting hard. We want to go more and more, so we're doing it again today. So I'm really excited this morning. We're going back to the swap meet again with Riff and Gabo. And I'm very excited, very happy because Ricky is here. Let's go with the squad. This is going to be a good one. I know it. I, I know this is going to be a good one. Let's go. So we get to the swap meet and we're just in the parking lot. The sun's still kind of coming up and Gabo the Giver. I got a early Christmas present for you guys. It's too early. Of course, Gabo the Giver comes over. He's like, I got something for you guys. I was like, dude, whatever. Oh. Okay. And I honestly, I, I got some for Gabo. I was gonna give it to him because it was his birthday about a month ago. Wow, it's been that long since I seen Gabo. I know you're gonna love it. If you don't like it, I can keep it because I collect this too. He comes up to me and gives me this cool Mario watch. It's got like a little projector in it. Since you need a clock, a watch. <laughs> there you go. Yes, thanks Gabo. Come on, where's my hug? All right. Oh. From Walmart, but honestly it's pretty legit awesome. Thanks Gabo. It is what it is. Not only that, at Portland he picked me up this Akuma. Oh dude, this I want this. Probably, I, I will keep it. You can keep it if you want. It's cool. This thing is sick. I love my little figures. There you go. Dude, you serious? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Now I can collect them all. Oh. Pretty much anything figure. Mario, Street Fighter, Mega Man, you name it, I like it. I got this from my- You know who Gabo's like? You know who he's competing with? Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this. Yeah. You got a couple ne more years needs to, to Needs to be white. Wait, wait. I forgot to give you something. What? Oh, man. We look like a couple creeps. We haven't even hit up the SWAT meet yet. Early, early Christmas present for you. Is two. it really? Yeah. Gabo the Giver wants to give, as he always does. So, Gabo the Giver. Gabo so, the Giver. Oh, no, no, it's not. And one of the first things he gives me. Yeah. I come around this. I say, ah, yeah, I have. I need to give this to this guy. 
is this amazing Stranger Things lunch box. Now I love this lunch box because it has so many bright colors. I've seen this before in like pictures and I thought it was red. Sick, dude. Oh, you know what I didn't know about this? So I've seen this before, I don't have it, but I didn't know the colors were so pink. I thought it was like a red, but it was pink and a beautiful bright pink, which I love. Oh, and you put a Maggie in it. You know what Maggie does? Maggie sucks. She sucks. This is, but then Gabo goes on to give me something. Am I tall, you're taller than me? How tall sure. are you? Six. Me too, I'm six. Yeah. From an awesome friend of his named Donnie, who also watches the show. I've talked to him before on the phone when I was in Portland. Yes, I do remember Donnie. I talked uh, to Donnie on the phone. Yeah, uh, he sent you something. Right now? Yeah. And I get Mercs on the Sega Master System in the most perfect condition ever. He sent you this. It's Mercs for the Sega Master System but it's sealed. If you've never played Mercs, it looks a lot like an Akari Warriors type game. It's a top down, there's a lot of shooters, action going on. I've never in my life seen a sealed Sega Master System game. That's the first one. It is Perfect. And this game, Mercs, happens to be from Brazil, this exact copy. But it has all the little stickers on it from not being opened and it looks perfect. This is amazing, oh my gosh, two things. I don't have Mercs and I definitely don't have a sealed version of it. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a Master System game look like that before. So this is, this is already a good day because as a Sega Master System guy, it's hard to find Sega Master System in the wild. Donnie! Thank you! Another thing is cool. So I got it in a different way for me. You're not Donnie, but. Because I'm a real gangster. I'm the dangerous man. You want to mess with me? I'm your number Squad! one fan. If I need a wingman, this is going to be my wingman. <laughs> That's so stupid, I'm sorry. We've been searching for two minutes and we already found Halo, look. They got it. So we get into the SWAT meet and we're walking around and right away, right off the bat, I mean the minute we walk in, this lady starts unloading a bunch of Atari stuff and Gabo and Ricky get there first. Oh, he got me. I was thinking he's, he was making my <laughs> None of us are super into Atari. If we were Atari guys, we'd be a lot more excited. Know why? Ricky sucks. But I have been kind of getting a little itch. I'm not going to say I want to get into Atari collecting, but something about it, these early, early 80s games kind of speak to me a little bit. So I go over there and I kind of been wanting to just like get a few things. Not, I don't want to collect for it, but I kind of just want to get a couple things like in there just as like part of my, my history that I have. Because I did play this kid. The lady says they're three for five dollars. Three for cinco? Yeah. So I end up picking up Donkey Kong Jr. for sure. Super Cobra, which is complete in the box, and the box is in really good condition. Super Cobra, because it comes in a nice box. Pretty clean box, actually, too. Donkey Kong Jr. and Yar's Revenge. I'm really familiar with Yar's Revenge and Donkey Kong Jr. I have to admit, I'm not familiar at all with Super Cobra, but I'm excited to get to play them because Atari is something I never really showed too much love to, so it's gonna get a little love. So uh, I think it's gonna happen, these three. Three for five bucks. That's not a bad deal. And if it's really good, it's gonna get a lot of love from me in the end. Cause it's gonna get a whole lot of love. Who sings that, Gabo? Yes! Hi. I, we walk up to like this stack of like, I don't know, look. You could tell there was like a couple games in there. Let's see if it's even in there. You grab the games, I grab it. It's a game I've been looking for for a long time. It's Resident Evil Nemesis on the GameCube. Resident Evil, best horror games for me. Uh, actually, it's not in hell. I love Nemesis, still like for the best. I have it for the PS1, but the GameCube one I've been looking for for a while. This thing's beautiful. I open it up, it's actually not bad. It's got some stickers on it, but dude. But this one's probably my 
third favorite. I was gonna say second, but it's not. I can't believe I found this thing. We walk over a little distance. This guy has like a bin. He has Poke Park 2 as well. I've been looking for this game for a long time. 11 on both. All right. Oh yeah. So 11 bucks for those two great games, I'll take it. Gosh, get this guy out of here. Break it! I finally found Jesus. How cool is this? Look, all these RC cars. But randomly, they have the Black Ops one right here. Bam! It used to be on that big bundle if you got it. I actually don't know if it's good or not. So I can't chance it. It's got rust. Yeah, we won't. No Xbox. <laughs> so we go into another booth that has a lot of Xbox games on their tables. And now two things. Normally I'm not an Xbox guy. I'm not particularly an Xbox person. Um, I just recently got a, a Hyperkin uh, HD thing for the Xbox that makes the cables HD. And another thing is this person looks like he's somewhat of a reseller, which I have no problem with, but I just figure the games are gonna be a little too pricey for the good condition that they're in. I saw this game and it excited me because Mort just talked about this. Mort was just telling me about this game. He was saying it's like a arcade style song. Really? It's fun, yeah. But come to find out, this guy says the games are five bucks each. How much are the games? Anybody? And when I open these games, they're all in really good condition and complete. Two of them that really stick out to me is Crimson Skies and Sega Soccer Slam. They also have Crimson Skies, which is one a game that Mort and I were playing on the Xbox One, from the Xbox One, and it looked amazing on his TV. So I need this. The game looks beautiful. We run the game a lot at Mort's house when we're doing game nights just for visual appeal. And right above us right now, it's going on. Crimson Skies, there's literally airplanes above us. Look like those ones are gonna crash, dude. Gonna crash. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> so we was in this booth, and I see Rifo. He was bruising some Xbox game. Here you go, dude. So I was looking around to see what I can add to my collection, and I found Air Force Delta Storm from Konami. I got a Air Force Delta Storm. Air Force Delta Storm. Yeah, never played. <laughs> That thing, yeah. Never play, but I see the con. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I never played before, but you know, it's gonna happen. And I got Outward Strange Rat. It doesn't have the manual, but this game is super cool. Cool cover art. Also, I picked up Outward Strange Rat. I remember playing that game back in the days. It was really good. It's like a first person shooter. I like it, Gabo. It is what it is. Happy birthday to you. Uh, I don't know. It's not your birthday. It was like a month ago. Come on, come on. That's how you do it. Ow, my eyes. Kids that are watching this, I got a question for you. Do you know what is this? Cruising around a lot of different places, and Ricky spots a place with a ton of toys, and he happens to be holding the camera. Got a little gambit over here. So I was walking with Ricky, walking and talking, and looking around other boots. I was touching his soft key, and all suddenly Rifo disappeared. So Ricky said, Oh, he's over there. So when I look, Rifo was playing with Dick, Tracy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The cops are on us. As I say, Dick Tracy. Now this place has a lot of toys and a lot of toys that I would like, especially these ones that I see right away and it's two Dick Tracy toys. The coppers and gangsters. How much are these guys? Three. Three? Would you vote for five? Two for five. I'll take it. Yes, these are out of the box, but they're only a few bucks. I got two of them for five dollars. I'm on a huge Dick Tracy kick. I've been buying a ton of Dick Tracy stuff everywhere I can go. I got a lot of Dick Tracy stuff going on. Oh, that's cool, dude. Tekken? King. And I found the uh, Tekken, I think it's Tekken 1 or Tekken, I don't know what which number is. Dang, that is cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, 
I'm gonna get this one. I would say it's actually cooler than my Dick Tracy guys, but I, I like my Dick Tracy You know, collecting. but I found uh, the king, that's the guy with the tiger head or something like that. Yes. To who reminds me of this? Jay, my Jay. and my body. To be honest, I took it because it reminds me of Jay, my twin brother. Jay, I love you, man. <laughs> Gavel sat on that. <laughs> You wanna lay with me? What do you mean? I'm just kidding. You're on speakerphone, everyone can hear you. What do you have to say to the people watching when they watch this video? Enjoy. Welcome to the NES Pursuit. Let's go get some stuff. I just got done buying some Dick Tracy toys a few booths ago, and I walk into this other booth and I can see right away how much are these? Five bucks? They have these amazing Dick Tracy episode one and two little comic books that also come with cassettes. I love these. These are pretty cool. A, because they're sealed. Two, because the cassettes are perfectly bright yellow. And three, so these are really cool. They're audio cassettes and they also come with like a full collectible comic book inside. The comic books aren't the same as the originals from like the 30s obviously. They are audio cassettes that read the comics that come with it along with you. Those are some memories that I have as a kid with different cartoons and different different animations. Listening to these little cassette tapes while you read a little book with it. Moments later, five corpses lie sprawled across the floor. A man with cruel eyes and a head that's nearly flat surveys his grim work. Ten bucks for both, bro. I, I feel like I'm getting my Dick Tracy fix on. I'm like really happy. So when I look, I get to the booth and the same thing. I found Rifo playing with Dick, <laughs> Tracy, cassette. What do you think about Dick Tracy? Huh? What, whatever. So I begin browsing around and I see the Star Wars Shadow of the Empire figures. Check this out. It's the ultimate ships for the ultimate battle. Dare to enter the shadow, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Because in vehicles each sold separately from Kenner. You know what is this game? You remember N64? To be honest, I never seen those before. And I don't know if I ever told you that I love Star Wars, especially Chewbacca. <laughs> It's from the game, yeah. Shadow of the Empire. And so there's another Shadows of the Empire one here with Dash Rednar, but the coolest thing about this one, in my opinion, is I love seeing Kenner on the back. It's just my Me favorite too. thing, seeing Kenner on the back. Kenner Look at Star the Wars. 1996. So I got the Princess Leia and I got uh, Dash Rednar uh, for a pretty good price. Kenner and Star Wars together is amazing. So Gabo, I think you're it's in like, these, it's right? It's like Riff and Ricky. It's like Riff and Ricky. It's like we're, we're two peas in a pod. It's like Billy and Jay. It's like wood and the switch. I don't know, something new for the collection, Star Wars collection. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I want this. Yeah, yeah. You gonna get it? No, I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get this too. Help me God. <laughs> Is that your dirty sock, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the guys were talking, I don't know what they were doing, so I, you know, I, I did my thing. I just walked away to the next booth. And when I walk up, it doesn't look like there's anything there. I go behind, like, something's blocking this table. I go over there to Skylanders. So I go over there, and inside of all this mix of Skylanders is, huh? He caught me sleeping. There's three amiibos. There's Pikachu, Mario, and the Link Wolf from Twilight Princess. But I was kind of a little worried about the price, so I asked. I asked the lady, and then the guy answers, like, "Oh, three dollars each." I was like, three each." So yes, I am gonna get them. Okay, three dollars each. I'm gonna take them all. I'll take all three for nine bucks. Not a bad deal. So I just got these guys for three bucks each. I was gonna haggle down, but it's already a deal. Gabo wanted the Mario, but he already has it. I know that's a, that would be a double for him. Mario and Pikachu from Smash. And then I got Twilight Princess. Oh. I was going to grab the Mario and he's like, eh. Dude, dude, I like seeing Mario up on the shelf, okay? I love it. He's bitter about it. He, he got Star Wars out of the Empire. 
figure. Dude, that's that's like way better than this. I can have another one if you want. It was four bucks. You are not going to buy that. It's too expensive for you. I just you're bought these for three You're years. cheap. Uh, I just want to kiss him and give him a big hug. I legit didn't know there was a scuff controller 360. I don't, know, I, I, I don't use scuff. Nice. Translation. Nice. Yes. Look at this, Ricky. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't this make your 3DS collection complete? There's room for games. There's room for console. There's room for green. There's this empty case. And I gotta, I gotta admit, the coolest thing I'm seeing here is this Wii U, Wii U case. I never seen a Wii U case like this, loose. Have you? And then another booth we go to. I honestly just went to it as a joke because I saw some dinosaurs. A cuanto heavy? Yes. I walk up and I look and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? And I kind of fast walk and they still don't see what's going on. I pick it up. Ten bucks. For Turok. Yes, sir. Guy was like, is that Turok? <laughs> and dude, and for ten, I am going to get it. I mean, I don't know what, it's, what it goes for, but it's just, that's sick. I was excited to get this thing. Like, honestly, this thing is cool. This is from 1998 Hasbro. So I picked it up for 10 bucks. I've never seen the dinosaur in the stand. Usually I only find him. Loose. Thank you, sir. It is what it is. It is what it is. Three churros, please. Oh, Ricky needs a churro. Face. I really do. A churro a day keeps the doctor at stay. It's the best way to get to the doctor fast. Eat one of these every day. Long sleeve Nintendo 64 shirt. I love long sleeves that have writing on the arms lately. And five bucks, come on. I'm gonna be so cool now. Nintendo 64. A quanto? A dollar. A dollar. Come on, poster. I'm still looking for the poster. The way I want to end today is letting everybody know that you have to keep going to the swap meet. If you feel like you've given up because you aren't finding things, Keep looking, you're gonna go through highs and lows and ups and downs, but there's so much stuff out there to be had. Honestly, it was a fun day. We even got stuff, how crazy is that? Good day, got stuff, great times. Keep looking, have fun with friends, like I always say, and just smile, and you're gonna have a good time no matter what happens, right Gabo? I really like that swap meet, and for me the best thing is hanging with these guys. See you guys later, I'm going off into the old game shed. I'm rebuilding it. No, seriously, I'm hiring a construction worker to rebuild this thing so I can put another game room in here. That's what you call rich. Dude, that's like... I'm going in, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Touching his skin. His skin. Good. Yeah, his skin. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Sorry. Ricky, they got a picture of me and you snuggling over there. Wow. He <laughs> He now has lice. Yeah, bro, bro. I took it because I thought it was good. You're supposed King. to suck. You're supposed to suck. Yeah. 
I like how that guy really thought we were gonna kiss and he got like worried. He's like, no, no, please don't do that. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, is there water in there? Who'd you have into all those games? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> all those games so fell. Water. It must be the wind draft that's hitting my oh. ears right now. Oh my gosh, it was literally a. Dude, it was trying to go in the camera, basically. Oh. That's a good yawn right there. Today we are waking. Why does it still seem so loud? Is it just me? Whatever. Whatever. Were you actually scared? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> not, not the nicest guy. <laughs> Can I get on there? Yeah, bro, there he is. Uh, this is uh, the man. Hang <laughs> out, dude. Dang it, dude. We're never gonna get out of here. I fall to pieces each time I find. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Why, why are you recording, man? Ricky! Ricky, give me a hug. Come on. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Whatever. Oh, see, oh this, God! Oh, see? <laughs> this guy is strong. I found this in uh, some place. I cannot say the name, but. Drugs. Drug cartel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 